Today we're going to work on something which is called prime factorization. And prime factorization is built on a very important idea about our numbers, which is basically that if you keep on breaking our numbers down and you carry on with the process, you will eventually break them down into their building blocks. And the building blocks of numbers are prime numbers. You remember what prime numbers are, right? They're the numbers that can only be divisible by themselves and one. So, for example, two is a prime number, three is, four isn't, right, because it's got a factor of two, five is, six isn't, because it's got a factor of three and a factor of two, seven is a prime number, eight isn't, nine isn't, ten isn't, eleven is, etc. And what we're going to do is take any number and we're going to keep on breaking it down until we get it into its prime factors. Okay, so let us start by looking at 60. And the easiest way I find to do this is simply to say, let me think about how I can break down 60 using multiplication. So what two numbers multiply together to get me 60? Anything I can think of? Well, quite obvious one is 6 and 6 multiplied by 10 get me to 60. Now remember, my object is to keep on breaking this down until I get to prime numbers. So are these two prime numbers? No, they're definitely not, right? They're both even numbers, so they can't possibly be prime numbers. So I must break them down some more. Okay, how can I break down 6? Well, it's made up of 2 times 3. And what about 10? Well, it's made up of 2 times 5. Right, now again, I have a look at my where I've got to, and I ask myself, are these prime numbers? Well, is 2 a prime number? If it is, I circle it and say I don't need to go any further. Is 3 a prime number? Yes, it is. So I circle it. I don't need to go any further. Here, is 2 a prime number? Yes, it is. So I circle it and don't need to go any further. And then is 5 a prime number? Well, yes, that is 2. I circle it and I don't need to go any further. I can now make a statement that says 60 is built up out of prime numbers by 2 times 3 times 2 times 5. And if I want to be a little bit neater and nicer about how I write that, I can say I've got a 2 and another 2. In other words, I have got two lots of two, and I have a three, and I have a five, just to put them nicely into order. Let's try another example. Let's look, for example, at seeing if we can break 75 down into its prime factors. Okay, this one's going to work out really easily for me because I know immediately that 75 is 3 multiplied by 25. I then stop and say, is this a prime number and is this a prime number? Well, is 3 a prime number? Yes, it is. So I circle it. Is 25 a prime number? No, it's not. So I need to keep on splitting. So let me split 25. Well, 25 is made up of 5 times by 5. Are these two things prime numbers? Well, yes, they both are, so I circle them. And now I have my prime factorization of 75, which is 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. And I can put that into what we call exponential notation by simply saying 5 multiplied by 5 is just telling me I've got 5 two fives. Let's try a last one. See if you can find the prime factorization of 54 by splitting it into, keeping on splitting it until it's in prime numbers. 
OK, pause the video here and you try that. All right, you might have done this a slightly different way, but we should get to exactly the same answer. It doesn't matter how we start to split, as long as we keep splitting until we get to primes, we will get the same answer. So, my, the first thing I noticed was that 54, because I know my times tables well, is 9 multiplied by 6. I then check, is this prime, is this prime? Nope, neither of them are, so I must keep going. I split the 9 into a 3 multiplied by 3, and I split the 6 into a 3 multiplied by 2. Now I check, is this prime and this prime? Well, yes, both of them are, so I must circle them. Is this prime and this prime? Yes, both of them are, so I must circle them. And now everything is circled, so I can stop. So I can write out that 54 is made up of 3 times 3 times 3 times 2. And if I want to write that nicely in exponential form, what I note is I've got 1, 2, 3, 3s, which I write like this. 3, 3s multiplied by 2. And if I want to make it even prettier, I can just put it in order and say it's 2 times 3 cubed. There are many other techniques for getting your prime factorization of numbers, but this is a nice easy one if you simply keep splitting your numbers until you get down to the prime factors, you will have your prime factorization quickly and easily.